guys, it's Anna and I am back with another video. So if you watched my refreshing old clothes video from last week, then you probably know that I got retinal detachment. So today I just decided to share with you guys my experience. Um, I just want to tell you guys my story. And there's a vlog in the middle and at the end, I'm going to show you my new eye. So I really encourage you to stay till the end. You can skip if you want, if that's what you want to see. If you're just here to see the eye, because that's basically the title of the video. But I really encourage you to just keep watching because it's pretty, um, it's pretty amusing at some parts of it, of the vlog and stuff. But right now, I think I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about how it happened and like how I realized I have retinal detachment. So, it was Saturday and on Saturdays I have ACT class in a Korean academy. I got a pretty good score on the English section of the ACT prep exam and I guess I kind of fell asleep <laughs> because the teacher, all she, all she was doing was like going over the answers. So I really didn't have a lot of answers to like go over so I just like completely fell asleep. How I fell asleep was I had my glasses on and I was like resting on the desk and sleepy like this. I feel like the glasses were like kind of pressing onto my eyes. I woke up probably 15 minutes after. I love how just they didn't wake me up by the way. I randomly saw like a blurry part of my eyeball. I really didn't know which eye it was exactly but I just thought it was maybe like an eye booger or it was just like oh I just woke up and maybe maybe it's gonna go away after because I was pressing onto my eyes so maybe it's just there so I got picked up we went to eat on a restaurant that was like downstairs from the academy and I told her about it the thing is my dad had retinal I don't know what it's called but there are like little holes in his retina and he got laser surgery but that was super quick and on the summer probably three months ago my brother got retinal detachment on one of his eyes so my mom and I were kind of freaking out <laughs> but we went home and my mom told me to go to sleep just to see if like it goes away and stuff at that point I was already freaking out I started breaking down in tears I was so scared of like the idea of having to go through surgery for eye surgery so I bawled my eyes out my mom told me to calm down and I did and I just went to sleep I woke up and I realized that the hole, I, let's just call it, was in my right eye and instead of being blurry, it looked kind of black like I couldn't really see anything in that part of my eye by the way, it was like on the bottom left corner of my right eye that I got the right on the attachment I started crying again and crying and crying my parents started freaking out too we were looking for a hospital that was open because it was saturday and hospitals aren't really open on the weekend which is so stupid because things can happen in the weekend too we called the hospital and there was a hospital that let us go for an emergency for, for like opto optometry like ophthalmology i don't even know like eye doctor so we went there and i got checked by the doctor and he said yes you have rectal detachment but we can't give you surgery here, we'll have to transfer you to a different hospital. I got transferred to CHLA, which is a children's hospital in LA. The doctor told me that I would have surgery the day after, which is pretty cool. Like I go right in and they told tell me I have this and they like I have I have to get surgery right away, so I just got it right away. Um, I slept in the hospital and the day after it was the day of the surgery they woke me up at 5 a.m. to like check my vitals and stuff and i couldn't sleep after that so i guess i just hung around with my mom and my dad was there too and um we prayed they took me to the anesthesia place and they i didn't know when but like they gave me anesthesia and i just completely knocked out i don't remember what happened. I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't hear anything during the surgery. So like I slept 
I woke up like literally a second after, felt like a second, and I was just like back in my room or like back to the hospital um, place where they put anesthesia in. After I woke up, I knocked out again. <laughs> I just like went back to sleep and I was back to my hospital room. I kept going back and forth, going back to sleep, waking up, back to sleep, waking up. But there was so much pain in my eye. They had to give me Tylenol and whatever to for it to like numb again. I went back home after that. I couldn't see anything by the way. I like my eye was completely closed. I couldn't open it. Not even this eye, because if I open this eye, I have to open this eye. And this eye was so swollen I could not open it. So I was pr practically blind for three days. Because after that this eye started to like go down and everything was pretty good, but I was practically blind for three days. I'm so grateful that I have parents that are there for me to like take care of me while I was like completely blind I guess. My mom had to take me to the bathroom whenever I had to go. Um, she would feed me and I'm so grateful for having parents like this. And I think everyone deserves to have a loving like loving parents like that like I have. Oh my god, I'm tearing. Okay, this is crazy. I'll be tearing up right now. Okay, I actually have a few vlogs of like a few days that I filmed, but I'll be right back and just stay in a better state of mind. <clears throat> oh god, my voice. So today is Thursday, I believe. I'm actually not sure. All I've done today was sleeping, eating, listening to audibles i've been listening to to all the boys i've loved before um fell asleep i've been listening to the bible genesis mostly because my mom made me but i also took a shower for the first time <laughs> probably in three days my eye this eye is still kind of swollen this eye I don't even want to talk about it. I looked at it yesterday and it looked monstrous. Like a demon's eyeball. <laughs> Hi guys. It's 11pm right now and I just finished editing a video. I've been editing for probably 6 hours. More? Maybe more. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> and I just finished editing so I might be just going to sleep right now. Oh, you suck! So today, I published my um, video on refashioning clothes. I'm also doing this right now because my pores are disgustingly filled and I just couldn't bear looking at it. My eyeball is not tearing up as much as before. It only tears up when like it's kind of uncomfortable. I've been getting kind of... A lot of weight because I've been eating so much crap. I probably ate like six double stuffed Oreos and like six kisses. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care anymore. Yo, yo, yo! It's my first time going out of getting out of the house since my freaking surgery. Other than going to the doctor, of course. We're at CVS right now, and my mother went to get an eye patch because I don't want to get go out with this thing on because it literally looks like a fly's eye. So we're at CVS. She's getting an eye patch if she can find one, and then we're going to Marshalls, and I'm just gonna go looking around for some clothes. Go on this journey to my lane. I'm at Marshalls right now and I feel so awkward because like this goddamn eye patch that my mom got me is like really weird. I'm sorry for the double shin. Um, I'm gonna go to the shoe section because I've been really into looking for shoes and I found these really cute Steve Madden. Steven Madden ones. Look at these. Do you see these? These are cute. Like these lip ons. 35 bucks compared to 56 bucks. I really like these. They're very cute. But um, I think I'm gonna look for dresses. These dresses for small are not cute. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I found this really cute kimono. Do you see that? That's cute. You know what I hate the most? I find this cute ass kimono or like a cardigan or whatever. And it's freaking large in the small section like why do you do that to me the rest of these clothes look like grandma clothes i'm sorry yo i legit own this jacket what the hell i didn't get from here though 
Whoa, I found this bodysuit. I am actually dying right now. These bags are so cute. They're so cute. I love this. Common Klein. This is hilarious. These are so freaking long. These are literally for people that are twice my height. And the zipper is goddamn broken. So, yay! I don't even know what to call this. Um, I think we should probably start looking for mother because I don't know where she is. I haven't seen her since this whole Marshalls thing started. I'm just gonna pitch her some of the bags I really liked and show them to her and see what she says if she's gonna be down to buying it for me. I just wanna pitch you some bags. Right y'all, today was actually a success! Got more stuff than I thought! I'm so excited, I'll show you a little haul when I get back home. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back home and I'm ready to show you this little haul that I have here. Uh, I know this video was not supposed to ever be a haul or whatever, but I just had to show you all the stuff I got. So we have, first of all, we have this Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Cucumber Toilet Spray. No idea what that means. I haven't smelled it, so I'm gonna smell it right now. Actually. Oh, okay. This looks like <laughs> I don't even know deodorant, but Let's see how it smells. I hate, 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 hate strong perfume smells. Like if they're too strong, I can't even breathe. <sighs> okay, it's stronger than I thought, but it's doable. It kind of smells like man. Okay, so next product. I'm so excited for this. Ta-da! These are the shoes, y'all. I'm pretty sure these are knockoffs, but honestly, I could care less. Like, no one's really gonna know. Like, no one's gonna notice. Ugh, look at them. I look hot, I know. <laughs> Today is the day I finally go to the doctor so I ended the vlog right there because um something came up <laughs> I wasn't in the right state of mind to you know film again so this is the day after visiting the doctor. This is it's Saturday today, September eighth. It's my friend's birthday, so that's why I'm like all makeup and like all per yeah. My surgery went perfect. It's cut. It's it's perfect. That area of the eye is perfect, but another area of my eye decided to detach. And my retina decided to detach. Apparently, it's not super. It's not super dangerous because it's the bottom part of the retina so like fluid can't go up because of gravity so it's gotta stay there and apparently a lot of people go through it without knowing and but still I might go through surgery again or have laser treatment. I already missed two weeks of school and I don't know. <laughs> Us as Christians we have faith that everything will turn out okay. And the way we see it is like a test or like God telling us something to do. So yesterday I <laughs> I was very confused. Of course I was confused. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry, I can't cry. Um, so if the reason you were here was to see my eye or whatever, I was going to if everything would have turned out okay if I didn't have to get surgery again if I was just okay but it turns out I'm not so I have another <laughs> match I'm sorry that was complete clickbait but um, I think this is still like an important thing to talk about I know there are so many people out there that are going through so much worse like terminal diseases or like Probably they're blind, I don't know. There's so many people out there that are like going through this 
and they're probably like giving up on life and everything. I I'm gonna say I was like that too for the first two weeks while I was recovering. I was completely lost. I as a Christian, it's like you expect us to like pray and give thanks for like having this stuff happen to us, but like I just saw it completely unrealistic because I'm still a teenager, I'm still growing, I'm still experiencing so much stuff and I just couldn't do that. I completely gave up on my faith and I just acted like a crazy person just as you saw in the refashioning clothes video. I was so crazy when I shouldn't have because I was still recovering, I was moving around too much. And maybe that's why this happened because like I just gave up. Some of you that are watching this are probably not Christian and probably think I'm crazy because you don't believe in this stuff but I do believe in this and I believe that even if like crap is happening to you like there's always going to be a plan for you that is planned by God. Whether it be like oh my god I'm crying. After I came back home yesterday I realized so much stuff. I even saw my mom crying and I couldn't bear seeing that and I came back home and the first thing I did was I guess pray to God I was so upset I couldn't move I didn't want to eat which is weird because I love eating <laughs> but I prayed to God I repented for everything I did and after that I was fine <laughs> I was happy again. I even smiled for like the first time in like the three hours that I was like going through this. And I realized like even if I'm going through this I can still live because I have a motive for life which is like based on God. Maybe some of you might think I'm crazy right now. I don't know. <laughs> but the fact that I'm still going and the fact that I'm filming this right now it's not for attention, it's because I realized so much stuff and I need to like share this message to everyone because I know that some of you might be going through a lot, maybe in the verge of dying because of disease, maybe you're blind, maybe you're mute, I don't know, or you're just depressed and you just think that life is meaningless, I just know that there's a father up there that cares for you. Even if things don't go as planned, like, he has a plan for you. You just have to turn to him. And realize that he's always gonna be there. If I get surgery again, I probably can't go to the colleges that I wanted to go in the first place. My dream colleges were USC, <laughs> Columbia, UPenn. <laughs> I probably can't do that anymore because I'm gonna have to drop out from classes and it's gonna be too late for it to not show my transcript and that's probably not gonna look nice in college apps or whatever even if my future is not going as planned as I thought like as I wanted it to go I am I have faith that my future will be okay I might be go I might go through difficulties because I don't know going I might go to PCC I don't even know <laughs> but I'm confident and I have faith that I'm gonna live a good life with him because he brings me happiness and I realized yesterday I just want to tell all of you that if you're going through crap if I don't know if you're upset just try praying once <laughs> An honest prayer. I'm gonna put a Bible verse right here. If I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or whatever, but I truly encourage you to do that. Yeah, this video turned very quickly. <laughs> oh my god, my makeup, my mascara is like running. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> this video pro would probably I don't know turn you off. <laughs> Probably not a lot of people will be watching this, but I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. 
there's always going to be someone there for you. If you're not of Christian faith, just know that even so, there's a father that's waiting for you. Waiting for you to turn back and find him. He's always there with open arms. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, then like down below and subscribe. I don't usually make videos like this, I'm sorry, but I just had to let, that, let out this message. Go ahead and comment down below because I'm always looking at an answer to your comments. And I guess I'll see you next time. Hopefully not crying. <laughs> and hopefully all better. I don't know what that will be, but we'll see. I love you, and I'll see you. Bye! <laughs>